Did you know that some carnivorous plants actually have fragrant leaves to attract insects? The dewy pine here has the smell that I wish that we could capture on camera and send to you somehow. It's kind of a warm mammalian kind of honey sort of smell that draws in all the insects. Uh, and then of course they're ensnared in this like dewy mucilage on the underside of the leaves. This mucilage on dewy pines differs a little bit from sundews. Sundews mucilage is meant to like hold them fast to the leaf. Whereas the mucilage on a dewy pine, it breaks away really easily. And so as the insect struggles its way across the entire leaf trying to get away, this mucilage is coating the outside of its body, covering up its breathing holes and smothering them, which is a really interesting way of capturing their prey. They also have these beautiful yellow flowers, so vividly yellow. And yellow flowers in the carnivorous plant world are actually relatively rare, except for Utricularia. There's a lot of those. Another thing I want to talk about is this one right here. This one has red seed capsules. Once pollinated, they make these little seed capsules, which over here you can see are usually green and then transitioning into like a clear brown that allows the seeds to warm up and ripen. But this clone from Los Barrios has red seed pods, which is really beautiful and special. This is actually a seed grown one from our original red seed potted one. And with genetics, it's always a little tricky to know, like, will that trait pass through? And so what makes this so exciting is we now know that that trait will mostly pass through. So if you've gotten your hands on one of our Los Barrios ones, don't be shocked if it also has red seed pods. Also, don't be shocked if it doesn't, because that's just the way genetics works. These things sell out so quickly. We can really only sow the seeds in spring and fall. So they're generally, I would say, seasonably available twice a year. But if you see them, order them. Don't wait around. Um, and a feature of our webpage that you might go check out is if you see something that you want on there that's out of stock, you can sign up for a notification. And as soon as Daniela stocks it back on our webpage, you'll get an email so you can be very the, the very first ones to get it. And that's, on some of these hard to get plants, probably the best way to ensure that you get one.